Hi guys, this is Naz of Loco Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own CocoaPod library. There are a couple of ways of creating the library. One is using the libcreate method of CocoaPods, which automates much of the work for you, otherwise you do everything manually. At the end of this tutorial, we will have a date utility as a CocoaPod library, which you can use locally with your other projects. Before you get started, you need to have CocoaPods installed. Just follow the Getting Started guide at CocoaPods.org for instructions. The next requirement is you need to have Git installed so that CocoaPods can clone resources from GitHub. Now we are going to start creating our library. Open your terminal and change directory to where you want to save your library. In my case, I am working in the repo folder. The first step is to type podlibcreate and the name of the library. And I'm going to call it my lib. After that, it will clone a template from GitHub which will be used for the library and demo project. Then it will ask for your name, then your email. Set the language you'll be using and if you want to include the demo application. I suggest to include the demo application so you can test your library. I'll set testing to none for now. Since we are creating a non-view based library, then we set view testing to no. After that, it should install the pod to the demo project and generate an Xcode workspace. The demo project workspace is open and you can see there are two projects in the workspace, the MyLib project and pods. The MyLib project is the demo project using the library you just created. Let us have a look at the directory structure generated by libcreate. In that folder you will find two subfolders called example and mylib. Example contains the demo project while mylib is the library. The library initially has two subfolders, assets and classes folders. Let us go back to the MyLib workspace and start adding something into our library. You will need to add your assets or classes in the development pods folder or group in the pods project in the workspace. I am going to create a new file and I'll call it date util. I'm going to remove this code and import foundation, then insert a snippet I created earlier. I created a date extension with a public today function, which prints the current date in string. When writing classes or functions you meant your users to use and have access to, make sure they are public. Let us head over to the demo project. The next thing we want to do is print today's date in the debugger console. Open the view controller and import my lib. Then in view did load, print today's date. Now that we are using the library, let us build and run the app to see if everything goes well. We can see that the app printed today's date, which means our library integration worked. Now that you have learned how to create a CocoaPod library, you're ready to create your own private CocoaPod repo. Stay tuned for the next video, and thanks for watching!